Our question at this time concerns another objection that has been made to Bible baptism and specifically saying, well, really, I believe in being saved by grace through faith. And if you're saved by grace through faith, then that necessarily excludes baptism. And that is a common thing that is heard by many people. They'll try to say, well, the Bible speaks about being saved by grace through faith. And since, it's, since it didn't say grace, faith, baptism, well, then I guess in baptism not necessary. Well, let's talk about that. First of all, let's look over the book of Ephesians chapter 2. In Ephesians chapter 2, that's where that phrase is found. Ephesians chapter 2, beginning in verse 8, he says, Therefore by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, he says, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, he says, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Now that's Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. And yes, that Bible says, this, your Bible says the same thing, that we are saved by grace through faith. And, but does, say, be, does being saved by grace through faith exclude baptism from the chart? That's the question. And I want to show you from the Bible that that is not the case. Remember, as you look in the book of Ephesians, the book of Ephesians is written to the church, to the Christians, at Ephesus. And we have a very unique situation with the book of Ephesians in the fact that we not only read this book written to them, not only do we read about Jesus' words to them in Revelation chapter 2, but in fact we read about their beginnings in uh, the Bible as well in the book of Acts. And so we're going to look at Acts chapter 19 and read about them uh, here just momentarily. But I remind you also from the book of Ephesians chapter 1, in Ephesians chapter 1, and the verse is number 13, he talks about that, about the fact that in him, in Christ, he says, he also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, believed in him, and he said you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. And so, right here in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13, he says you heard of him, didn't you? Well, whenever they heard, uh, in, uh, they heard him, that produced the faith, didn't it? Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So they heard God's word. They believed on him. And that's also said in Ephesians chapter 2, By grace you are saved through faith. There is faith. So they heard God's word. It produced that faith. But was it faith alone or faith only? Well, let's go to Ephesians chapter, I'm sorry, in Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19 tells us about the conversion of these first people at Ephesus, these first Christians. And the Bible says that Paul had gone into that city. And he was preaching the truth. Again, Acts 1, I'm sorry, Ephesians 1, verse 13, in whom you heard, you know. And so they're hearing about Christ, and, and he begins to speak to them about the Holy Spirit. And did you receive the Holy Spirit? And they said, we, didn't, we don't even know what a Holy Spirit is. And so he said, well, into what were you baptized? They said, unto John's baptism. So Acts 19, verse 4, Paul said, John baptized, he says, baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe on him uh, who shall come after him. That is Jesus. In other words, what John was preaching was, um, of course, good for that time, but John was preaching that Christ was yet to come. And he said, that's not the case at all. Christ, of course, has come and gone. He's died and buried and rose, and, and he's ascended back to his Father. So he tells them about this. And so upon hearing this, Acts 19.5, the Bible says they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And so here were folks who heard God's word. They believed on it. And then he took them and baptized them. You see that? They heard it. They believed it. We know they believed it. And Ephesians 2 and verse 8 says they did. And we know that because hearing God's word produces faith, Romans 10, 17, and they heard the word. So from hearing, believing, were baptized. See, that's what happened in Acts 19 at the conversion. Now later on, sometime later then, Paul writes them a letter, and in writing that letter says, By grace are you saved through faith. See that? Not of yourselves, it's the gift of God. But folks, it goes together. Being saved by grace through faith does not exclude baptism. Being saved by grace through faith includes baptism. 
And you don't have to go any farther than Acts 19 and see those folks heard God's word and they believed it. They were baptized, Acts 19.5. They were baptized into Christ. And then Paul writes them a letter. And when he writes them, he says, By grace are you saved through faith. That's the truth. And so away with this idea that says that somehow that if you're saved by grace through faith, it excludes baptism, or baptism is not necessary. Far from it. In fact, it includes it. It's a part of it. See, that faith certainly is an inclusive thing, and it includes baptism. Uh, otherwise, you have the Bible contradicting itself. We know the Bible doesn't contradict. The Bible is in harmony with itself. And so when we read about the things that the Ephesians did... Then, uh, through that, hearing God's word, and they believed it, Ephesians 1, 13, and they obeyed it, they were baptized, and then Paul could write them a letter saying, by grace you're saved through faith. And so the question is, have you been saved by grace through faith? If you have been saved by grace, grace through faith, that means you're baptized into Christ for the remission of your sins.